Gotham Knights. This has been quite a ride all the way back to the Arkham Legacy rumors and then the, you know, concept art released from the supposedly canceled Damian Wayne Arkham follow-up, which I have actually done an entire breakdown and video with, actually two of them, uh, here on my channel, so please check those out if you're interested. It's gone all the way from that down to multiple symbol teases uh, to these ARG-type uh, puzzles all the way to a final reveal and then almost radio silence other than a couple interviews immediately after it. Uh, I am here with Alex from Podcast Now, who I am thankful is with me here today because we have both talked about Gotham Knights a lot. And the question here today, uh, before we get into it, is going to be, where is Gotham Knights? What happened to it? why are we not hearing anything? So before we hop into this, be sure to leave a like if you enjoy this video, leave a dislike if you dislike it. As always, engagement helps on either way. Uh, you know, Subscribe for more content. I appreciate you very much. And let's hop into it. Alex, thank you for being here today with me. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, I think we're going to answer the who, what, when, where, why, all those things, who's Gotham Knights, all that stuff. I think we're, we'll hit all of that here. Well, man, this, this whole game... Um, you you and I have talked about this, too, a little bit behind the scenes. This is the sad thing about this. I do think that there's a lot of people. Um, so I will say, first off, I'm not calling anyone out. You're not calling anyone out. This is not a specific thing. But I think that when it comes to games journalism and videos and stuff like that, there's always a push to be positive, you know, because, like, people want to work with these companies. Like, for example, they want to say WB is amazing. I think that... Uh, they are in direct contact with God, actually, and that funnels their games, and they're divinely inspired and amazing. Please send me a review copy. Stuff like that. You know, they they just want to be positive. You got and, the leak of their email, didn't you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, here's here's the problem. There's There's not a lot positive to say about this so far. I mean, I think we like the way that this game is looking, right? You know, you and I have talked about that. Like, oh, this looks fun. I enjoy this. You even have given it a lot of credit that other people haven't, you know, not to toot uh, your horn, but you saying like, hey, listen, we knew this whole thing about the co-op drop-in, drop-out drama months ago. Why does anyone care? You know, like you've been even more positive, I think, than me. Um, and we already know that Reddit doesn't like us. You know, they've, they've <laughs> yeah. created subreddits. Uh, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I found that one really funny, man. Um just like the whole the whole post, it's like, why are they so negative about this They're game? Worst nightmare, Jay. The two, I'm the most toxic. You're the second. We're together. It couldn't be worse unless Slick Moth was here. Then it'd be worse. Yeah, it's like the Legion of Doom, dude. Slick Moth can't do <laughs> anything right. They hate that guy. I don't get it. He's like the nicest person on earth, and uh, they are just constantly angry at him over on Reddit. Yeah, but. It yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. What, what yeah. do you think about all this? What do you think about the whole, I mean, you can mention the Reddit thing too. I think that there's a group of people just so, it reminds me of Snyder fans. And we talked mm -hmm. about this before. I like him. Um, but where it's like, if you say anything remotely negative, you're the problem. Shut the hell up. We're going to like blast you, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, this game, the marketing, we've talked about it. I don't think it's been handled well. And I think it's okay for us to say that. Right. No, I, yeah, it's uh. It's tough. So here's the deal. Like we know how popular this game is, how much people want to I would say want to love it because to say you love it when the game's not out yet is is tough to say, right? And it, it's it's so hard when we introduce anything kind of negative and, and and that's the thing and i think jay and i have always been i would say honestly above a lot of other people not just even like people who cover batman or gotham knights but people on the internet i think we're like pretty straightforward and honest you know what i mean i think we're a pretty straight shot you know what you're gonna get with us we're not gonna hate it just to hate it we're not gonna bash it just to bash it but to 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 pretend like there's been nothing wrong with how they've handled this entire situation is messed up. And I don't think all of it's their fault. You go back and obviously, you know, you you uh, brought it back to, you know, even before DC Phantom, you brought it back to like a year and a half ago. Go back further. They've had multiple games canceled. They've had a lot of trouble in Warner Bros. Montreal. They've gone seven, soon to be eight years without having a single game release. So, and I, I get it. That's not all their fault. I don't know anybody who works there. Now, there's people that work there that follow like you and me on Twitter. I do think, you know, a lot of them are probably pretty nice. So, yeah, like you said, we're not going after anybody we're not attacking anybody you can call people out for not doing a good job though that, i think that's totally people can do that with us you know they may like our channel they may like us and they say you know what jay you know what alex we didn't i didn't like that video or the quality there wasn't good that's fine we know where their heart is uh and that's kind of what it is with gotham knights i think people 
mis, uh, misinterpret us criticizing it for, oh, we're just attacking to attack. We're doing it for clicks, right? We're doing it for, like, I, I get, I'm the, I'm the clickbait channel. We all know that, right? So, like, that's, that's just what happens. Um, the, the, the case in point is that this game is exciting. We're excited for it. I want more. It, it's not, completely unheard of what they've done and the fact that we haven't really gotten much stuff. I just think because there is such an expectation for it and the way they've handled it, people are expecting more. So I get it. You know what I mean? I mean, there's been many games that have announced themselves, gone completely dark for years, for years, and then they come back. Uh, and then they go dark again, and they come back. But the way Gotham Knights is, you could say Gotham Knights is, is a bigger, like a, a higher anticipated game. I mean, that's subjective because, say, like a game like The Last of Us Part Two, that game went dark for like three years. In between, they'd come out, show a trailer, go dark another year. Come back, show a trailer, go dark. That's a big game. That game may outsell Gotham Knights, right? So it's subjective to say Gotham Knights is big, you know, but... It's just uh, the way they've handled it on social media, trying to do a marketing, trying to do promotion of it, right? Saying, hey, here's the the gear breakdown, right? When you and I have both talked about the gear breakdown, here's all this stuff. Well, okay, that's cool. But if you're going to do that, you can't just stop. I mean, look, they've stopped. Their Twitter's dead. I mean, they, they'd still do their job postings because clearly they need to fill jobs. But, uh, you know, they, they stopped doing any kind of promotion for this game for the last, like, two, three months besides the, uh, the Christmas picture, right? So... The way they've handled it has not been good because they're trying to do a lot of different things. They're trying to uh, appease people and make people happy, but then they're not doing a good job of it, and then they're kind of abandoning it and being like, well, it's normal to go dark, and it's normal to have an interview here and there, but like you can't – it's very mixed messaging. And a lot of people that, that are into this game are I'm – not, I'm not like attacking people, but a lot of them are very much into it. You do have a very passionate group of people that are into Gotham Knights that you don't always get for other games. Yeah, you absolutely do. I think that it's a bit of an issue because um, I don't think people are willing to accept some of the criticism for it. Uh, I don't think that WB is understanding some of the criticism for it. There were, I don't know, there were like a lot of issues with this the whole time. I think that COVID caused a lot of problems. So I think that the whole marketing thing was going to be a very in-depth you know, alternate reality game. I think that they were going to sort of get into that and have you decipher things and everything. But then that sort of just dropped. You know, it yeah. just sort of dropped off and went nowhere and then was silent forever and then kind of came back a little bit, then was silent again forever. And then we got the announcement. And then I, I will say, too, you know, you brought up a good point. We haven't really heard much anything since Christmas. So mm -hmm. why? You know, what? what's up with that? And we keep getting these leaks, too. And WB is also not good at responding to leaks. Like, for example... This leak about when the game will release, you know, in July. If yeah. that's not true, what would be smart to do is say, hey, listen, here's an official announcement of the re planned release date. This is what we're planning. We don't intend to push it back, uh, you know, unless there was some kind of dire circumstance. But uh, this is what we're planning. You know, you don't have to keep speculating about this. Here you go. But they mm -hmm. can't do that. Or even just address it and say, you know, we've we've and we've seen actually we've seen countless times over the last year or so companies kind of coming to their own defense and saying, hey, what you saw online, even if you don't want to do that, right? I mean, that that would solve a lot of problems. Just saying, hey, just to avoid any confusion, here's the release date. You do get into problems, right? It is if you delay it, you're gonna have a legion of very angry fans at your door, stuff like that. So maybe they don't want to do that, but you could still address it you could say hey there's leaks out there or there's a placeholder date those are incorrect but that's not when the game is releasing something as simple as that because yeah it's not necessarily up to them to correct all of these other you know it's it's not up to them to fix uh, a game stops equivalent in the uk's mistake on their website you know what i mean like it's not up to them but you know when people get pumped up and people get excited and then it doesn't happen Ultimately, you know that the, the uh, whatever it's called, the game something is is the uh, is the store that 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 was. They're not going to go after them. They're going to go after Warner Bros. Montreal. You know, what I mean, so it's kind of just forward thinking and protecting yourself and being. And we talked about this off, you know, you know, off air, uh, being like self aware. How self aware is Warner Bros. Montreal? We know that different studios, the whole Techland stuff. I was telling Jay this, you know, uh, you know before we recorded. Techland, from what it sounds like, they are very aware of their own situation. They're just too afraid because they really can't, based off all the stuff they said, of it. So, like, you know, but they're aware of things. I'm sure a lot of companies are aware of certain situations. So I wonder how aware Warner Bros. Montreal is at the marketing. How aware are they of fans' expectations for this game, right? All that stuff. 
Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, it just seems like they're very unaware of what's going on. They don't actively seem to care. We don't know if they really know, you know, that people are not a fan of it. Everybody I've talked to from WB Montreal is very nice. Like I said, I have spoken to people from Warner Brothers, spoken, speaking to people. I have spoken to people from Warner Brothers before. Um, I have worked with people from Warner Brothers very lightly uh, in the social media sphere. I haven't in a long time. I wouldn't expect to be asked back because I have said some negative stuff about how things are handled. And uh, this is not a shot at WB, but that's not how the entertainment industry works. You know, Uh, Disney's kind of set the standard for that of like, hey, if you work with us and you promote something we do or you like something we do or want to talk about it, uh, you can either be your own independent thing and talk about it or we can give you, you know, a back rub and you can say nice stuff. Uh, That kind of seems to be, in my opinion, how the entertainment industry has gone, especially the last 10 years. Uh, So I don't expect to be asked back for much. Uh, outside of, you know, just supporting it myself. But I do plan to continue doing that. I like this company. I like the things they've made. I am a uh, supporter of Arkham Origins. I defend that game. I actually, it's probably my second favorite in the series, believe it or not. So, you know, I, I'm i certainly not a hater of WB Montreal or of Gotham Knights or anything like that. Their stuff, I think, was handled not well. I think that all the game cancellations, not handled well. I think a lack of transparency, not handled well. I think that not putting this in the Arkham universe when it clearly picks up when Wayne Manor explodes, which was weirdly set up by night, not handled well. I, I think just a lot of this is not handled well. I mean, there's, there's yeah. no other way to put it. And it's not hate towards anyone. It's just like, hey... If I, you know, a mid-20s idiot, you know, with a bachelor's degree in English and no no business experience really outside of running my own business here can tell you, like, you probably should change this, I feel like that the professionals up at the top of WB should be able to look at it and be like, yeah, we we probably are not doing this the best. Yep. No, exactly. I mean, it's... uh... It, it's tough, and it, I think they, they. I hope they are in in somewhere uh, in some way aware of the situation. I think they, they they could be. I mean, there seems to have been something. I know this is a little off topic. There there seems to have been something that obviously happened with that Damian Wayne game, where I've always floated out the theory that's completely my own and just you know it, it's not backed by anything. But I almost wonder if they were pulled aside right from the higher ups and said, "Yeah, we like what you're doing with the Damian Wayne game, but we want you to make." this specific thing and that's how Gotham Knights came about whether it's because they wanted them to do co-op or they wanted to be more of a I'm not saying it's live service but maybe start to go down that avenue right like was that part of it too we don't we don't know the uh the inner workings and I get that we're not always going to there's a lot of companies that do a lot of stuff if, if people aren't aware that we don't know about right uh it just sucks because I think this one does have a a group of very very passionate people that not everybody always has and i get that that kind of sometimes um shifts expectations for it yeah absolutely and i think that that's about all we have on it we are excited for the game we're looking forward to more but uh we want to see something where is gotham knights that's really the question of the hour what happened Uh, where did it go and when will it be back we just really want more information more solid you know release dates things like that just expectations anything Uh, And we're getting really nothing right now. And I think that that's just a frustrating thing that's led to a a grasping of the straws to see, you know, like, oh, well, maybe this is a hidden clue or, oh, maybe this is happening here and maybe this. And at the end of the day, I just don't think we're getting anything. I don't think there's much of any of that. And I think that the leaked release dates, I don't believe them. They could be right. But considering the lack of, you know, information and all this stuff, uh, I just don't see that happening. Same for Hogwarts Legacy. But, I, you know, I could be wrong. I absolutely hope I am because then people would be getting a good game earlier. Uh, but I don't expect that. Alex, do you have anything to add to this before we wrap it up? Um, please don't blacklist us, Warner Bros. Montreal. And I think, Jay, we <laughs> isolated in this very video why the Reddit threads are formed to hate us. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I think people are just really excited. I don't think it's a personal thing. Uh, but I, I don't think that... You should tie up so much of your, um, I, I don't know, like energy into this yet uh, before we see more. That That's all for me. But anyways, let me know what you what, Wow, wow, I can't speak. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you still super excited for Gotham Knights? Do you not care? Are you hyped? Uh, do you think that Alex and I are too negative? And perhaps you should actually not only just a, a Reddit thread, but perhaps a whole subreddit 
should be created to how toxic we are. That was a joke. Please, they'll probably do that now. Um, let us know what you think. Have a fantastic day. Stay shway and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoy it. And hey, before, actually, I didn't even mention this. Check out Alex's channel. I need to actually say that at the beginning of the next video, but Alex does an incredible job over on his channel. He does so much different content. Gotham Knights, Spider-Man, Star Wars, video game news, just of all kinds, indie games, uh, entertainment news, Pirates of the Caribbean, all this stuff, the Marvel, Marvel movies, uh, everything. So check him out. Link in the description, as always, to all his stuff. Appreciate him very much. Not only a great collaborator, but a fantastic friend. Alex, thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me, buddy. It was an awesome talk. And uh, if there is a Reddit thread, I can't find it. We've talked about how hard it is to find podcasts now, but Jay will definitely, uh, you know, uh, sniff it out. Yeah, I'm sure I will find it because I'm a narcissist who looks up my own name. We'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. And as always, stay shway.